The hand was, who were the Irish going to count on? Who were they going to count on? Right? Who was it that the Irish were going to count on? And so I took that, I took those words, and I have lived with those words, and I've lived by those words for the rest of my life. And I have taken that because we can go through this life. You know, life is only so long, right? Life is only so long. And as you go through life, you can, one, choose to be a victim, choose to give up responsibility, you can decide that you're just going to sit on the sidelines, or you can <coughs> flat be driving the truck. And so I took those words, they count on me, and I went off to the Navy and went across the Pacific. I worked at the White House. I came back, I was a drill instructor, and I used those words every opportunity I could because when somebody actually counts on you, that means something. And there's people in this community that count on you every day. There's people in your family that count on you. There's people in this club that count on you. There's kids in this community that count on you. And if you take that to heart, that somebody counts on you in everything you do, and you go and, I, and again, I'll go back to those five things that, that keep me up at night and get me up in the morning. Those are people that count on me, and those are people that keep me going. And that's why I go. That's the why I have in my heart. Because if you don't have a why, if you don't have a purpose, then, then life is going to lead you astray. And again, I may be talking to the choir here, but I guarantee you that if, if, this, if this doesn't apply to you, it applies to somebody in your family, a kid or a grandkid or a niece or a nephew or somebody that you're mentoring. But I'm going to ask you, encourage you, to please. You've got to, you've got to look at, we have to look at life and we have to teach our children, we have to look at life like a movie. And if you're the director of a movie, you have to write the script for that movie. You have to think about it that way. We get to write the script of our life. And we can write this script, or we can let somebody else write this script. And quite frankly, that happens a lot. A lot of times, people get tired, they get lazy, they, they lose effort, they lose focus. And, and life's going to go on. You're going to get up every day. The sun gets up every day. It's been up every day of our life. And it's going to come up every day of our life. Until, until we don't get up. But if you don't write the script, if you don't write those chapters in your life, somebody else will. And if we don't teach our kids that they have to take control of that, they have the responsibility and they have to take the effort to write those chapters, to be the director of their own movie, if you will, to be the director of their movie. And what's this movie look like at the end? Because you don't want to get to the end and look back and say, Boy, I wish I'd have done that. I wish I'd have wrote that book. I wish I would have gone to this school. I wish I'd have taken that knitting class. I wish I would have done this or that. You don't want to do that. And I guarantee you there's probably some folks in this room that, that might have a, a thing or two in their mind and say, I wish I'd have done that. Well, it's not too late, folks, I'm telling you. And so, again, I go back to my introduction and why I tell you some of the things I did is because of those words that my brother told me. So people count on you. They count on you to do the best you can every day. They count on you to be active. They count on you to be a mentor. They count on you to run fast and run far. So folks, think about this. Are your tweets as sharp as they are, as they can be? Are your tweets wearing down? If they are, sharpen them. It's not too late to sharpen. It's not too late to teach somebody how to sharpen their tweets. Because when somebody counts on you, when somebody truly counts on you, and you can follow through with something that inspires them and leads them, then you're going to make a difference. And when you make a difference in somebody's life, when you sharpen their tweets, you have no idea what that's going to do for them or where that's going to take them. I promise you, sharpen their cleats, sharpen your cleats, and at the end of the day, magic will happen. Thank you so very much for being here tonight. I wish you all the 